Hi, I'm Lieutenant Steve McShay. My call sign is Richter. I'm from Fighter Squadron VF-101. We're uh, from NAS Oceana, Virginia, and I'm going to show you the, uh, the business end of the F-14 Tomcat that you're about getting ready to see fly. Hi, folks. My call sign is uh, Dutch. My name is uh, Lieutenant Dave Halperin, and uh, I'm going to give you a walk around around the uh, outside of the Tomcat. The F-14 uh, is a multi-role fighter attack aircraft. And in other words, we can, uh, we can fight our way into the battlefield air to air, go into the target area, drop the bombs with the precision strike capability, and fight our way back out. Uh, recently, uh, we've seen action in Bosnia, southern Iraq. Uh, both of us just returned not too long ago from a uh, tour in southern Iraq where we patrolled the no-fly zone. The entire plane is designed around having two people in it. You can't operate it with a, with a single person. Everything we do is as a crew. We train as a crew. We, and if you're operating correctly, you think as a crew. You think alike. If I happen to be falling behind with a task I'm doing at the time, Dutch can pick it up immediately and vice versa. So it's, uh, we're built around that. Uh, the F-14 uh, has the most powerful airborne radar in a fighter you'll ever see and probably may ever see it again. And because we have so much power and capability and there's, we can keep track of so many targets out there, we need a man solely dedicated just to operate that machine. I have to just keep it up airborne pointing in the right direction in the meantime. Uh, it is such a dynamic environment and we're doing things down very low at 200 feet that uh, the pilot has to spend almost 90% of his time looking outside. He doesn't have time to come back inside and check his instruments. And that's what he's relying on me for. to. Uh, verbally tell him what his instruments are reading. The bulk of our show is it's a power show is what we have. We're, we're the dragster of the uh, of the air show and uh, you're gonna see pure brute power out of the back end of the F-14. Hey why don't you come with me I'm gonna show you around the plane. The first point I want to bring out about uh, the F-14 is take a look at this landing gear. Look how big it is. Compare this to uh, the F-16 or the F-15 or uh, any other nation's aircraft and you'll see a big difference. The reason Navy landing gear has to be so big is basically what sets apart naval aviators from anybody else in the world is we have to land on a carrier. It's a pretty big nose. If we could open up the nose, what you would see is a big radar in here, uh, a big flat radar. F-14, arguably one of the most powerful radars in the world. Approaching the speed of sound, watch the vertical departure from high speed. On the ship, deck space, on the aircraft carrier, deck space is a premium. So we have to uh, get the jet as small as possible to get as many jets as we can on the carrier flight deck. And that wing will move out uh, in its forward, full forward out position. We call that 20 degrees. And that is what we use for takeoff, for landing and takeoff. And then, as a function of airspeed, the wings will sweep back, meaning the faster we go, the more the wings will sweep back. What's unique about the F-14 in general is its size. But the size of this horizontal tail is the same size of a wing on an A-4. Uh, being big has its advantages and disadvantages. Its advantages, one for us, is we can carry a lot of gas. We don't have to refuel as often as the Hornet does. That's an advantage of being big. Being big, we can carry a lot of ordnance. We can carry a lot of air-to-ground ordnance. We can carry a lot of air-to-air -air ordnance. That's an advantage of being big. A disadvantage of being big, the enemy can see us easy. We are, we are so big that uh, he can pick us up visually a long way away. This right here is what separates naval aviators from uh, everybody else in the world. This is the tail hook. This is what we use to catch a wire on the ship. This is the belly of the aircraft. This is one of the other places where we can carry weapons. We basically have four stations underneath here. Uh, and you can see this is a big area. This, this is where we can carry air-to-air -air weapons or air-to-ground weapons. Finish up back here again by the uh, nose gear. Uh, this is what's called the launch bar. What, uh, what happens on the aircraft carrier, this thing will come down into what's called the shuttle, and the shuttle is part of the catapult system. This hooks into the shuttle, and the aircraft uh, goes to full power, and they launch the shuttle, meaning send it off the front end, uh, and we go from uh, basically a standstill to 130 knots in about two seconds. And this is the piece of gear that allows us to do that. And that's the 10 cent tour of the F-14. I'll let Richter show you the inside. This is the front cockpit of the F-14B Tomcat that I'll be flying on the show today. Looking down here into the cockpit, you'll see the, uh, the primary attitude display will come up on this TV screen in front of me right here. This tells me what's up and what's down. And uh, down here, this next display that I'll be using is my radar display. It tells me what the Rio in the back seat is looking at. It's a repeat of his radar display. Right down here, you'll see the Martin Baker ejection seat that uh, we'll be sitting in. 
Down here, you see the yellow ejection handle. There's one down here between my legs and one up here above my head. If I pull this one out, it comes, a face curtain comes out and comes over the top of my head and then protects my face if we happen to eject. And uh, obviously, you can see where I strap in here. It straps into my, uh, my torso harness. And uh, right here, these, uh, these are called sea wars. They, uh, if, I would, if I should eject over the ocean, which we operate primarily, they, uh, they have a small explosion. They detach me from my parachute, so I'm not dragged through the water. Uh, this seat, obviously, I weigh about 180 pounds while I'm sitting on the ground, but uh, during the show today, I'll weigh upwards of nine to 900 to 1,000 pounds, so it, uh, it can take quite a bit of weight down here. Down here are the throttles. These control the uh, two GE 110 uh, afterburn engines that I'll be using throughout the show. Back here is the idle position. Move it all the way up here to military, and uh, for most of the show, I'll be using this section here, which is max afterburner. When I select this, it'll be uh, an upwards of 60,000 pounds coming over the back end of the jet, and I can go from 60,000 pounds thrust back to neg negligible amount of thrust in about a second. So it's a pretty impressive uh, rate of uh, change out of these engines and uh, it's quite intense acceleration. Throughout the show, there have been a lot of rolling maneuvers and uh, you can see my feet are buried underneath the dash, but uh, it's a very responsive jet. The, the pedals are, uh, are very light feeling. It's also my toe brakes down here. That's how I steer the jet in the ground as well. here is the uh, aft cockpit of the F-14B Tomcat. The AUG-9 weapon system is what we have here. You have a large circular display that gives you the main radar display generated by the computer, and above that is a small TV screen that gives you the raw output of what the computer sees, just blips. Down below you can see the, uh, all the information, the speed, altitude, and things like that. You see a myriad of switches. That's, uh, that's what's required to make this thing work. <laughs> say thank you and I hope you enjoyed this close-up view of the F-14 Tomcat. An awesome, awesome aeroplane. The incredible F-14 Tomcat.